Yeah, man, I'll go right with the elephant in the room. Christian McCaffrey out on the practice field in a red jersey. Uh, obviously, he's still on IR, I guess. Uh, what are your expectations for him as far as possibly being ready for Thursday? Um, I, I think it's a possibility. Um, you know, that's sort of out of my hands. I'm hopeful that, you know, I'm hopeful that we'll, uh, you know, I'm hopeful that we'll have him. Someone else have a question for Coach? Yeah, Coach, just to be clear, uh, is, was he uh, designated for return today? Is that something that has to happen before he can uh, actually, like, practice practice? Yeah, he, he was not designated for return. Yeah, he was um, – he has to do that before he can practice. All right, let's go to Mike Slarte next. Thanks, Preston. Coach, um, is there a, I guess, a benefit to this kind of being a short week? You can, you have no choice but to purge Sunday and, and get on to Thursday. Yeah, I don't want to purge Sunday. I, I, I want to learn from it. Um, you know, um, uh, I think there's a lot of things for us, to, you know, to take away from the game. So. You know, we came in. I know a lot of teams like to just move ahead quickly to the ne- you know the next opponent. We you know we didn't. We um we talked about you know we talked about the good things and the bad things that are, that were involved in the game because there's a lot of both, and um um and then we and then we move forward. So, uh, you know, I I'll always believe that uh, the best thing you can do for your team is just keep trying to improve, and the best way to improve is to learn from. Um, you know, the way that you play both good and bad. So, you know, I, I tried to make sure we took some time and, you know, I think some guys were maybe not real happy about that, you know, in, in, in a good way. The guys want to move forward, but um, the best way to move forward is, you know, is to learn from the past, in my opinion. Let's go to Joe Person and then Jason Huber. Matt, given that it's a short week, uh, would you think, and Christian didn't practice today, would you think that might make him unlikely? And then I have one more quick um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, like, like I said, I'm hopeful that, uh, I, you know, I, he says there are a possibility. I said, I, I'm hopeful. You know, it's, again, it's not me. It's the, it's when he's cleared by, uh, you know, by the doctors and trainers and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting. And as soon as they say he can go, he'll go. And then just a couple transactional things you guys did today. Could you sort of explain uh, the move with Seth Roberts and then I know Josh Hawkins had something on social media without a mask uh, out in public at a club. Did that factor into the decision to release him? Uh, you know, I, I think with, you know, both of those transactions, you know, we, we appreciate those guys and all that they did for us. And, um, you know, I just, you know, we, I would just say we thought it was in the best interest of the team, you know, to, to move forward. So, um, you know, we made both those moves. Hey, Matt, uh, I was just wondering, do you have any uh, update on Russell Kuhn and with this being a short week, uh, what, where is it kind of at with him? Yeah, just just with the injury report, I mean, he didn't practice today. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's really where it's at right now. You know, he, he didn't practice. How would you feel with uh, Greg Little stepping in for the rest of the game yesterday? I thought Greg did a lot of great things. Um, you know, he's uh, – you know, I you know I hate when our players go down, but but I feel as good about Greg going out there as you know as anyone. He he prepares hard, he plays hard. Um, he's uh, the more he plays, the better he gets. So I feel um, feel very confident in Greg. All right, let's go to Steve Reed and then Miles Simmons. Hey Matt, just one more thing on on Christian. Is there any thought to hey you're you know you're on a short work week Thursday? You know if you rest him, you you could have ten more days to make sure he's healthy. Is there any? Any of that thought that goes into this decision for Thursday night? Um, you know, the decisions, like, as I said, is made by the doctors and trainers. So I think it's just a, a matter of, you know, when he's healthy. You know, if you, if you know Christian, um, he wants to play. So um, as soon as they, re- you know, release him and say he's good to go, he's he'll go. Hey, Matt, uh, Brian Burns got another strip sack yesterday. Do you, do you feel like he's coming into his own as a part of your defense and just getting more comfortable in it? Very pleased with Brian Burns. Um, you know, he is he is a, a tremendous pass rusher. Um, the thing I like most about Brian is that he's trying to become, a you know, develop and become a complete player um, who's dominant for, you know, great, great lengths of the game, not just, you know, for, you know, uh, a play here and a play there. And so 
Um, some of the things he did in the run game to me were, were really good. So, you know, so some of the things he did in the pass game that you don't see with the sacks he did were really good. So um, I'm pleased with him. And the biggest thing I'm pleased with is he's, he's trying to make sure he's a complete player. Let's go to Jonathan Alexander and then Josh Klein. Hey, Matt. Um, hope you're well. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, first, uh, if Christian is back, um, have you all thought about how you might factor, how you might um, work with Mike Davis and Christian? Yeah, I think I think um, whenever Christian is back, um, you know, we'll use both guys. So Mike has Mike has certainly proven that he um, deserves to play and. Um, you know, we've, we've talked at, you know, talked at great lengths about how to utilize both those guys on the field. I think when you have Mike, you have Christian, and now you, you add in Curtis Samuel, three guys who can play running back and also play receiver. Um, you know, we can be in a multitude of personnel groupings, um, that, 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 you know, the defense has to prepare for. So, um, you know, we're excited about those possibilities. And, and what do you think about, uh, you know, you coached Sam Franklin for a year, at Temple, what do you think about his journey and, and getting to where he is now? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I obviously hadn't followed him very much after I left. You know, I followed the team, you know, here and there, but didn't didn't know much about Sam. You know, as we were going through the, you know, where he was, as we were going through the draft process, you know, he was uh, on the board based upon the scouts, and uh, he was seven, someone that uh, Evan Cooper, you know, said from the very beginning, you know, that we thought could be that big nickel position that uh, Chin is playing. And so um, signed him undrafted, put him there. And uh, right away, you know, Chase, the special teams guys, you know, fell in love with him because he doesn't get tired. Uh, he loves to play football. Um, you know, he gets in, you know, he's he, he kind of moves from that big nickel because he played linebacker at Temple to, to safety. So you think about it, he, he's playing safety in an, in an NFL game and hadn't really played that. Um, uh prior to that and is you know just getting better and better and better every week and um yeah it was stood out on the tape at times you know running to the ball flashing tackling their backs um thought he played a, a very good game that did a lot of great things and um um i think you know i think it's just the beginning for him he's got the right skill set and the right mentality he's a he's a tough guy that 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 just 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 works and plays uh, Matt, after you get a chance, or you've gotten a chance, obviously, to watch the tape from yesterday, um, what did you see in terms of run defense? And obviously, you guys have been hurt by injuries up front. Um, you never want to make excuses, but, you know, you're missing KK and YGM and, and other guys up front. How much of a difference does that make? You know, I mean, we got it. You know, I have confidence in the guys that are here. And I think our issues in the run in run defense um, are 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 consistent when we've had issues you know some games we like against the bears we've had really good run defense and it's just simply you know we're a one gap defense you know and so it's um it's pretty simple everybody get in your gap defend your gap and there's nowhere to run the football and it's just a guy getting out of his gap a guy leaving his gap too early and and, and plays hitting and um you know while the while the total numbers you know maybe weren't terrible um and i don't have it broken up by half um you know, there were, there were some timely ones, obviously, that bothered us. And so um, it's, just, it's just a matter of the discipline of getting in our gaps. When we blitz, you know, guys getting in their gaps, and it's the same problem, you know, we played the Falcons two weeks ago we had. And so um, we have to have tremendous accountability and ownership to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to get in my gap. You know, that being said, I thought, I thought they adjusted. You know, I thought Phil adjusted well in the second half. And, um, you know, to hold, to hold them to six points in the second half, I thought – uh, we did some different things, um, but it really comes down to just, you know, uh, everyone get in their gap, do their job. And, and, and I have no issue with how hard we played. I thought we played really, really hard, but too many, you know, too many, Hey, Hey, my bad plays that, that popped. And so we, we just all have to, you know, get a little bit better this week in terms of you know, just handling our responsibility. And just a, a quick kind of similar, but not exactly the same follow-up. Um, what did you see from a Darius Taylor, uh, over the course of the last few weeks that's that's wanted you to get him on the field a little bit more uh ag's a tremendous you know he's a tough guy he's a football player uh, we have a package that he plays in um that was one of the packages we just used a little bit more yesterday um 
but uh, you know he's he's physical on special teams and um, um, you know that it, it, it does a good job. And I thought when he got in the game yesterday, I was really pleased with his effort. I thought he played hard, played fast, got to the ball, and was violent at the ball. So uh, I was really pleased seeing him out there. Now let's go to Elena Getzenberg and then Skylar Callahan. Matt asked the fun question of the day. Um, what went into your outfit yesterday going back to the smock? And should we expect to see that this week? It was in my locker, so I, I put it on. Um, um, I just uh, – it was there, and, and uh, the guys were wearing white, and I just thought I like the color. I like when our guys wear – you know, the, the, so nothing much more than that. Sure. Is it a one-time thing, then, you think? Yeah, I don't. I really don't spend too much time thinking about what I'm gonna wear. I ask these uh, questions. <laughs> I, I um, I uh, I uh, I literally wear the same thing every game usually, and then uh, I saw that, and I, I really like our, our uh, inactive players and guys warming up wear wear wear, wear the, the sleeve version of that, and I liked it, so I, I it was in my locker, so I put it on. So I, I don't know what I'll wear. I really I'll get I'll get in there Thursday and grab whatever's in there. Hey, Matt, Curtis Samuel caught, I think, all six of his targets on Sunday. Um, it came up big a couple times on third down. What did you see with him, and did you notice a difference with him out there out there on the field compared to last week when he wasn't? Yeah, I think we were 67% on third down. Uh, Curtis is a clutch player. He's a, uh, he's a tough guy. He finds a way to make huge catches. The, the first drive, the scramble, I mean, he, he goes down to get that ball knowing he might get hit. Um, I think his ability to control the middle of the field on third down and create mismatches and all those things is uh, is hugely important. And so, um, um, you know, it was great to have him back out there. Let's go to Joe Person for the next question. Hey, Matt, um, there were a couple spot calls yesterday that kind of went against you guys. Obviously, you challenged the one. I'm wondering what the explanation was uh, on that one with Kamara. And then were you a little surprised how quickly the Breeze touchdown got confirmed? And did you get any explanation on that one? Yeah, I got I got no real explanation on the um on the uh one that I challenged. You know, I um I you know I, I I'm assuming it was just the angles, you know. I mean, there's only so many angles that you can see. And so I, you know, I, I was hesitant to challenge something in the second half that wasn't clear cut. But with the way that they had been, you know, uh, or, you know, I think it was, that was second half, right? The game starts to fly by I me. Mean, I'm, I'm on to Atlanta already. Uh, but, um, you know, with the way they had been moving the ball, I thought that was an opportunity, you know, and uh, with his foot stepping out of bounds, I hoped that we would get that call, which, you know, but uh, there's not much explanation beyond that. And then um, just the one at the end, you know, obviously, you know, the guys were, the players were yelling for me to challenge it. You know, you don't challenge scoring plays they review them yourselves and so i was just waiting to hear and then they said uh, they confirmed it upstairs and so um you know once that happened there was not much you know you know n really no recourse for me on the replays as you watched them today did you feel like you know, they were bad spots i really uh i really i, I don't even kind of after that i don't really even think that way i'm just kind of like i move on from it like um it's really the only way I can, you know, I can, I can survive is just kind of move on and, and, and um, just, uh, just, just worry about the football, worry about the, you know, the things that we did right and wrong. So um, I can understand the angles, you know, uh, of, of, you know, I understand there's, it's hard in terms of TV and all those different things. Guys, we have time for two more. So let's go to Elena Getzenberg and then go to Miles Simmons to wrap it up. Hey Matt, I was just wondering with the short week, is there anything, you know, how are, this is the first time you've been in this situation. Is there anything way you're approaching it differently or kind of just treating it as like today a normal Wednesday for you or kind of how are you approaching it? Yeah. So, um, you know, just like when we went out to, uh, just like when we went out to Los Angeles to play the Chargers, you know, I used um, Coach Coughlin's uh, West Coast schedule, which is different than a lot of people. A lot of people go out two days early. I used what we did at the Giants and I, I thought we played well. I'm using our exact, um, you know, Thursday, uh, uh, Thursday night game schedule from when I was at the Giants. We, we actually came down and played uh, the Panthers on a Thursday night here in, in, at um, Bank of America Stadium. And um, I liked the, the schedule. Uh, I, I, I remember leaving that game saying, hey, this was probably our best game that year. Um, so I just kind of took that same approach. So um, 
yeah, today today was first and second down, and we'll just keep you know stay on our normal schedule, like you know, as if today was a Wednesday. At uh, at guard uh, without John Miller yesterday, what did you think of uh, Daly and Scott playing there? I thought they did well. Um, it was good to have Dennis Daly back out there. It was good to see him play. I thought uh, he did a good job, and um, we'll only get better and better and better with more reps, more time, and and uh, you know Trent Scott's got to be one of the you know one of our um, you know better signings in terms of his his versatility to go from playing left tackle to left guard to, you know, he's out all week. He shows up on Friday for walkthrough and, 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 you know, Hey, we need you to back up at right guard. So um, he's a, he's a football guy. And I appreciate that about him. He, 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 uh, he's extremely versatile.